flip back again and get the win. I will say, monkeys are a bit endangered. So it's important that they fight back, fight back against the goblins that are invading their jungle. Conserve your elixir, monkeys. Conserve it. <laughs> Giant in the back from Orange Juice. Whoa! Oh, and a quick response from Surge to the Expo right at the river. Expo was picked. Giant, normally a great counter to Expo. It has so many hit points. It can soak Ooh. all of those attacks. So when the Giant was played in the back, Surgical Goblin knew he had to take advantage of that and attack down the other side to take advantage of the opening in Orange Juice. I gotta say, though, Surgical Goblin just got shut down. The Barbarians chopped that Expo and the Prince apart. And we are gonna have a lot of damage coming in over on the right side. Giant and the Miner stack another Princess, providing a little bit of defense there. But look at all these punches wailing away on the tower, bringing it down down to 1031? And if you're not sure how the game's going, just look at the emotes coming out of the stands. A lot of sads and mads on the south side of the board, a lot of laughs and, and happies coming out of the top. The Royale sailors look sunk, but I know that they can right this ship and get Ooh. it back afloat. <laughs> oh, not with something like that, though. A mini peck of fireball hit out the left side, and Surge is in a lot of trouble. And when you get a hit like that, OJ did it right. You gotta throw your mating call out there. <laughs> Let him know. You open for business. There comes the balloon. He's always open for business from him. Boom! One balloon drop. Electro Wizard's gonna slow it down. Oh, get a second drop. Oh. No, but the death damage will provide a little bit more. 1462. I assume it was a good year. Top left tower is left with under 1,500. Certainly must have been. Princess finds her lock, but a mini P.E.K.K.A. right on the river is going to give her a little bit of trouble. Archer's on defense look good. You know, I think I noticed something from Surgical Goblin there. He thinks uh, that O.J. ran out of Elixir, and that's why he chose to cho uh, go on the attack right there. I doubt that we're going to see very many Expos this game, though. He knows that O.J. has got plenty of counters. That big setup. O.J. is the main man when it comes to positive elixir trade, so it's going to be real hard to get an elixir advantage on him, even if you're Surgical ball. Goblin. That's the balloon hit! Awkward, and the tower will take a big hit, finished off by the death damage of that balloon. Double tanks in OJ's deck. He puts the Lava Hound down the left side, trying to finish that off while fighting the Expo. Great push, though. He does force a lot of elixir down the right side, and that allows Orange Juice's attack to be relatively undefended. Here, a pretty good counter for this Lava Hound out the left lane. Princess providing some assistance here, but Miner is going to be able to finish off the Muskie. Miner is also a pretty great tank for these Lava Pups, and that tower is going to take a lot of damage uncontested, basically. I mean, the archers out back are helping out, but the tower now down Ooh. to three is within uh, just ice spirit range of going down. Can he get the finishing blow? Ten seconds left. He could throw a Miner on the tower. He's got it coming in. Six, five, towers down. We may be going into overtime. 666 six, six left on Orange Juice's tower. He's feeling red Ooh. with envy as he gets a few hits the off barbs. the right side. Surgical Goblin in a lot of trouble. Pushes the Barbarians away, but the Giant makes it there first. Orange Juice has defeated Surgical Goblin. What a come from behind Two, victory. One. He was down one tower with 40 seconds to go and managed to take two towers in the last 40 seconds to tie that game up.